Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I do have a few more drawing requests that we're going to get to this week. However, I just wanted to do something a little different today. So if you requested something from me last week and I didn't do it yet, don't worry. I'll do it for you, but just a little bit later this week. Today, for whatever reason, I just really wanted to draw a snail. <laughs> right before all this happened and we had to leave school, one of my kindergarten students asked me if we could do an art project on snails. And I love that idea because I think snails are actually really, really cute. I have some snails in a fish tank, actually. There's a huge yellow one and then a smaller blue one, and I have a bunch of other smaller brown snails. I love snails, okay? They're really cute. And um, snails that live on land, instead of in my aquarium, they love rain and they love water and you'll see them most often when the grass is wet like after it rained or something so we're gonna draw some snails today and we're gonna have it raining since our snail likes the rain and um, you can just get started with whatever you want probably pencil because we have a lot of overlapping lines on this one but uh, let's go ahead and let's get started all right guys so the first thing we are gonna start with is drawing a curl for our snail's shell. How big you make this curl kind of determines how big your snail will be. So I'm gonna start right in the middle of my paper and I am going to go up and over and then it's almost like we're drawing a circle but we're not gonna go all the way back to this. Before I get there I'm gonna go back up and over and just kind of curl like that. You're kind of like, oh, I'm gonna make a circle, but then instead you kind of start back over and you get smaller and smaller. So there's the start to my shell. I'm gonna make this part a little longer. Then I'm gonna connect this line to this curl here. So there's my shell, it was that easy. Then I'm going to draw these little slightly curved lines that sort of change direction as they curl around the snail shell. You don't need to add these, but I just like them for some extra detail. You can kind of think of like what direction they should be if you think of if it was a clock. And on the curved end, on the curved side of the clock, like what direction the hand would be facing. So that might be a way to help you. Now we're going to add the tail. So starting near the, the edge of the shell, we're going to do just a little diagonal line like that. And then we are going to skip back over here. And starting right where the little point of this shell is, we're going to make a line that curves up and goes up straight for a little while. And then curves over much like a frowny mouth and then goes kind of straight up and down. And I'm gonna stop there for a second. Now this, we're gonna let this curve over and connect back to the tail. So curve over and connect back to the tail. On this one, this the snail's um, body is really thick compared to the shell, it's a little bit smaller. On this one, they're a little bit more even. Either way is fine. Now we're going to add these little stalks with the eyes. So I'm going to do two straight lines, kind of angled that way, and then two more straight lines angled the other way. And then make an oval or a circle on top. You can draw two little black circles inside for the eyes. And then I gave my, my snail a smiley mouth like that. Now what we're going to add is we're going to add in our leaf for our snail to be sitting on. Of course your snail could be sitting in the grass or on a rock or something else, but I'm going to do the leaf since that's what I did in my example. The first thing I'm going to do is actually draw the stem and it goes behind the snail, so we're going to have to think a little bit. I'm going to make the stem on this one a little skinnier than I did on that one, so starting with just one line angles down a little bit and then I'm gonna do another one right next to it it goes behind the snail 
And then you have to imagine if these lines continue. So if this continued, you'd see a little bit of it right here. And then continue, continue, continue. It actually kind of line up with the tail. So I'm gonna continue over. I'll say it would, it would show up here. And I'm gonna have it continue to about there. On this side, if this line continued, you would see it about here. And I want it to go up and meet the other line, so we get a point. Now I'm going to decide where I want the leaf to be. I'm going to have it start right here. You can have it start here or there, it doesn't matter. And it's going to curve down and then start curving up. I added this little part of the leaf that was kind of like cut out. So if you want to do that, you can stop part way and do a big curved line, like a big frowny mouth. And then continue this line and kind of stop just a little bit away from this point of the leaf. Now I'm going to go on the other side and do another curved line that goes up. And again, you have to kind of imagine where the line would start again if it was behind your snail. So your leaf might get cut off by the shell a little bit, that's okay. And there we go. So curve down, curve up, but they both meet in a point. If you want to add some of these extra veins in the leaf, you can just kind of do two curved lines. And again, you have to imagine because the snail's blocking some of it off. So another curved line that meets in a point. I try to do some on the other side. I'm going to do some over here. I try to have symmetry where they're both the same on both sides. I'm only going to do one on this side because on this side I have the cutout part. So now I'm done with my leaf and I'm done with my snail. We're actually almost done with the whole drawing. All we have left are our raindrops. So I'll show you two ways to draw the raindrop. Usually I draw them all in one go. I start with the top, I do a curve out, a curve under, and then it meets back at the top. But some of you might have a hard time drawing that shape all in one go. So you can also do an upside down letter V or the top of a triangle and then just make a smiley mouth underneath it. So if doing it that way is easier for you, then of course, you know, do it that way. But I'm going to make a bunch more. I'm just going to draw them all in one, one go. I'm going to draw some underneath the leaf too. And then if you want to add these drips, like the water's on the leaf and kind of dripping off, what you're going to do is just kind of do like a little curvy line that then kind of expands out to make that teardrop shape and get small again. So it's almost like you're going to make this raindrop shape, but instead of pointy on top, like here there would be a point, you have some wavy lines that connect it back to the leaf. So wavy line and then that teardrop shape and then another wavy line. And I have my snail all finished sitting on the leaf with all the raindrops around it and he's looking really happy. Of course you can add more details. You could add some stuff in the background if you want to, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So have fun coloring in your snails and adding your extra details. And definitely show these to me if you guys are finished with them, because I would love to see how they look. Alright guys, I hope you had fun drawing your snails with me today. I think snails are really cute, and I'd love to see the way that you guys colored your snails in. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our next video. Bye!